Hello genius minds welcome to grade 7 reasoning book and I have brought chapter number 4 for you that is logical Venn diagram. When you talk about Venn diagram here we have Sumati who is really puzzled how to solve Venn diagrams and she is asking her teachers to help and it was beautifully explained by teachers that when you have circles and these circles are placed in a systematic order and each circle represents some object. So sometimes circles will overlap, sometimes you will have a concentric combination of circles, sometimes two will intersect, the third one will not intersect and it can also happen that none of the three circles intersect depending on what actually set represents a particular circle. So, we have taken the first example. In this example, we have three circles. One has the family of cats, another has a family of dogs and the third one has a family of birds. Now, cats, dogs and birds, they belong to three different families and nothing can be common in them. That means there cannot be any cat which is a dog or a bird. So, we have three circles which are placed entirely different. Now, I have brought another example in which we have just taken a feedback from different students and these students are telling their favorite subjects among science, mathematics and English. And if you observe carefully, we have these circles which are intersecting at certain points. Now, what this intersection actually means? When I look at the first combination of intersection, this shows that there are few children who like both science and mathematics. This common part indicates that we have few children who like science and English. And this common part indicates very nice children who like mathematics and English. Now my question to you is that what is this red shaded part? Yes, this shaded part indicates that we have few children who belong to all three circles, isn't it? That means this group of children is who like all the three subjects. So do you belong to this group? Now talking further about Venn diagram, we say that Venn diagrams are represented either with circles, squares, rectangles, triangles and these circles represent the property of particular group of objects which are represented by that shape. Now coming to another Venn diagram which you could see on the screen, here we have two circles, the first circle represents all even numbers up to 10 and the second circle represents prime numbers less than 50. And could you see we have common part where we have only one number. What does this indicate? This shows that there exists a number 2 which is both even and prime. Now if there is a question that how many even numbers are there so, we will say 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. We have 5 even numbers up to 10. And how many prime numbers are there up to 50? So, we will count this 2, 3, 5, 7 and 11. That means again the answer is 5. And if we have a question that how many numbers up to 15 are there which are even as well as prime so, only one number that is 2 is the part of this family which comes in this shaded part. Now, take another example. Here we could see two circles. The first circle is showing odd natural numbers from 1 to 20. And what is the second circle indicating? It is multiples of 3 between 1 and 20. Now, this common area shows odd natural numbers and multiples of 3 between 1 to 20. And if the question is that 
how many odd numbers are there which are not the multiples of 3 so we have only these seven numbers these are odd numbers but they are not multiples of 3 right and if i come to the next question where we want to find the multiples of 3 which are not odd then we get 6 12 and 18 that means three numbers belong to this category so in this way you have to just read the question properly and then you have to search the appropriate answer few more questions which are for your practice the first one is which of the following main diagrams best represents the relationship amongst fruits, cereals and vegetables? So if you do a little brainstorming, you will realize that fruits, cereals and vegetables are three different families of the things which we eat. So it represents three different circles which are not intersecting at any place and B becomes your right answer. Now next question is which of the following Venn diagram represents the relationship between a building, room and window. Now just give a thought that building has many rooms and each room has a window. That means window is a part of a room and room is a part of building. So looking at these answers we could make a relation of concentric circles and C becomes your right answer. Moving ahead now we have a Venn diagram where this rectangle shows the actors and circle shows the players and doctors are represented with the help of triangle. Now what's the question? How many doctors are players but not actors? So you have to find the relation between the triangle and a circle. Looking here, this is a circle and this is a triangle. The common number coming here is 4. So we say that 4 is your right answer and we say 4 doctors are players but not actors because it's not coming in the category of this rectangle. I hope the concept is clear to you. Now we have an exercise. Look at this first question. You have to find which of the following Venn diagrams best represents the relationship among the following. Now after doing so many examples, your turn to just read the questions properly and then explore which relation is the right combination and find the appropriate answers for these given questions. So just what you need to do is you have to read each question properly and then create a relation between their properties, between their qualities, between their features and you'll get the right answer. One more different category of question we have in which which of the following options best depict the given Venn diagram. Now here Venn diagram is given and you have to find that which of these represents this Venn diagram and you'll get the right option after doing it. Now let's read this very interesting question where the triangle represents sports circle represents boys and the square represents rural people and the question is what portion represents rural sports boys that means all three things need to be covered and on observing these figures we find that D part is the right answer because it includes the part of the square, the triangle and the circle as well. In this way, you will be doing more questions that follow. Some of the questions will be having one figure and based on these figures, we have many questions. So, observe this Venn diagram and understand what is actually asked in the question. And I know you are going to crack it.
So please do these questions very carefully. It's real fun and it's going to improve your statistics and mathematical logical skills. So just a little effort will help you to master and you are going to outshine. Get set, go. My best wishes to you.